Hello everyone. Welcome to Little Lamp Go um, channel. And uh, today I will uh, do a review of a professional game. Actually, this is another series, a uh, series of the World Champion. Uh, I think this uh uh, this uh, tournament is supported by a Chinese uh, company, maybe. So, but uh, Korean players and uh, Japanese can also play. But uh, uh, this is the fi final ba uh, battle between two Chinese players. The white one is a uh, knight. 9P player who is called Chiu Jun and uh, he's not uh, a child anymore and uh, he plays uh, very good but uh, uh, the black player is, uh, is a child and he is very very young under 18 years old but uh, Actually, he win this tournament and uh, win about uh, one million or two million RMB, uh, the the prize. So after the tournament, he becomes uh, nine then also. So <coughs> you know that there is a rule uh, in China that uh, if one player uh, wins the world championship he can directly become an IP <coughs> the reason I didn't uh, uh, continue the review of the uh, battle between Gu Li and Li Si Do is that after a long time there are lots more tournaments uh, happened uh, so I want to do a review of the most recent one uh, instead of the old one but uh, later maybe I will still try to uh, finish the, the battle between Gu Li and Li Si Do if you like mm. so let's see the ga game directly mm, this game this uh, child play first uh, he is called Ke Jie and uh, he actually I because I uh, I was the referee of uh, a lot of tournaments and I saw him playing uh, in some tournaments uh, he played very fast and uh, nearly uh, didn't think a lot but uh, I think he's very ta uh, very talented and uh, of course he made some mistakes but uh, you know that uh, one mistake will not uh, make him lose the game he can always get it back and let's see the game this is uh, opening strategy maybe I will introduce later to you but uh, for professional players they didn't need they don't need to follow all the basic rules of the uh, uh, opening strategy they can always be creative just like this move usually the opening strategy is to play this move this is a uh, normal opening and uh, maybe later I will introduce it to you this is a uh, quite normal variation also white can connect here after black I touch but in this game uh, uh, Ke plays here and uh, seems he liked this move much more than the the boring opening but for us I think we just need to play the normal one it's enough 
and this is also a very popular just a key uh, maybe in the recent one year I think this move was invented in invented by a Japanese player and uh, after this move white play here this is the most uh, uh, this is the simplest uh, variation I think and uh, the white player is uh, very famous for play very very simple and uh, uh, very uh, territory oriented so this is also uh, ter a territory oriented uh, <coughs> strategy actually there are more variations that me introduce some this is also a variation and uh, at the start uh, black choose to play here but uh, you see just like the game if black play this looks like this move this fly is better than the in the in the star on the star so later black choose to play here and uh, then where white will play let me think I am not very good at Chiseki this is uh, oh, where white will play I think uh, sometimes uh, white uh, plays here it's also a variation also mm, oh, it's very hard to explain because I forgot about it so let's continue uh, another variation is white play here and uh, play this move so at this time black usually will play like this and connect black play back and white play here this is also a variation but uh, in this game uh, white just to choose the thin post and uh, yeah play here this is a thin post uh, Joseki and in this Joseki white got a corner and it's very concrete but uh, black move very fast so it's very hard to say who is good and uh, the next move white also play very safe and this move is uh, for uh, for you amateur players amateur players this move mm, is uh, a very good move to to learn because this is like a very good direction because if white play this uh, and let, let black to uh, get both sides uh, around the corner this is very good shape for black so white gets this move it's very good direction so here black choose to play this side the reason is the same actually at the beginning of the game uh, no matter which just a key we uh, we choose one thing is the most important uh, is that we need to choose the the best direction you see here if black tries to play this direction it's very bad because here black already got lots of stone and uh, this is very inefficient this direction but uh, this direction is the correct that is why black white will not play this direction also and uh, because this direction has no potential for instance if black play here and play the uh, simple to <coughs> Joseki is very bad for white because white cannot extend here and this 
and uh, with this removes black destroy all the potential of white so here what have to uh, do a pencil pencil and uh, also the same the same reason that white will uh, black will not choose this just a key you see if black choose this just a key all those those stones on the third land that's very bad shape so instead of this black will choose this move maybe uh, I will let you guess uh, where white will play the next move maybe your first feeling is here this is a jersey but this is very bad after black play here why yes the reason is the same if white play here this jersey is not good for white because this is a good shape for black and after this shape black need to play here uh, under this situation and black has already uh, prepared this move so this is uh, what black expects to happen and uh, at this side white just uh, just use four stones to surround one stone it's not very efficient and uh, maybe you will say that white will play this move but after black uh, uh, play like this black gets the corner and this wall is also useless because this direction there's nothing to to make this move also become a very good move so all the just uh all the thinking here uh of the Joseki uh, of which Joseki to choose is based on the consideration of this side this side is very inefficient that is why white plays here you see this looks very unusual but it has a uh, meaning and the meaning is to choose better direction so maybe you think black will jump out here but after white got this move you see here this stone become bad stone and white got the corner and white can move anywhere later maybe here or even if white jump back all those black stones is you are useless because with this wall it can surround nothing and it just give white a big corner that is why white play this move so now looks like there is nothing to play in this corner then black gets this move just like what I said with this uh, <coughs> corner uh, I don't I forgot how to say this corner this shape shape uh, black at both sides are very important so at this time white has many choices first one is to try to enter this uh, this uh, area but uh, it is really hard to choose uh, which move to uh, to enter because maybe uh, any move you 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 move in you will uh, help black to make some territory that is why white choose to continue get uh, getting some territory like this of course black will not connect here then black will use one move to uh, strengthen this uh, area and do you know which move is 
uh, the best move. Maybe you can learn from his move. It's this move. This is a quite usual move. It looks like uh, mm, very uh, interesting move, but uh, this is a good shape under this area. And maybe it always happen in your game, and uh, you may try this move when you play. And also for uh, also for for white, white is waiting for this move because after you spend one another move, then if white uh jump in, if he can make a corner alive or make uh destroy the side uh the territory on the side, then it may make black to spend uh one more move, then it's efficient for white. So of course, white use uh, thin post uh, uh, strategy or thin post method to enter. And towards this move, usually I told you uh, when I when I teach uh, children how to play go, I always teach them when you are doing attacking. You should never let your opponent find some uh, something something to utilize. For instance, if you play here, if you honey, then white will have many m more uh, methods. If you play here, white may cut you, and uh, maybe the only move you can play now is here. Then here there are too many. Uh, Cards and maybe white can play here to destroy this side, because after this, here white can atari and push, then it's very hard for black to play. So it means that when white play here, black may only have two choices. The first one is to extend outside, and the second one is to uh, not be in the three three. And uh, in this game, he choose to do the three three. I think it's because if black play here, white can do a honey directly, and then this corner becomes a cold fight. Then this move looks like uh very inefficient. If black if white can make a corner alive like this, then you see. It's like black waste one move here. That is why black choose to move inside and let white to come out. And this still may be useful for uh, attacking. So here white uh, tries to play this move. It is similar with this move because white already get one stone here and black move at this side. Then White tries to play here, try and uh, uh, trying to use this stone. So black choose to play here, continuing attacking white stone. Here white jumps out. It's <coughs> very normal, and black choose to play here. And uh, uh, here black can only not be because if you honey, it's the same. Reason as I said before, when you attack, when you are doing attacking, you should never let your opponent find some way to to utilize your stone. So it's better to just attack and let him to run. And uh, yeah, it is like this. Uh, you know why White plays this move? The reason is very simple. It's because uh, if white plays here directly, black may honey here. Then if you honey, black will cut you. This is a very direct uh, calculation. Then after black cut here, it's very hard for white to deal with. That is why white will do this exchange first and then not be out. So now 
uh, after white play this exchange if you play this it's like you follow your opponent's idea it's not very good then white can come out uh, very easy and uh, if white can come out very easy you see that white already got lots of territory then it means um, white did uh, make this situation uh, benefits for himself because uh, the main the main purpose of white uh, in this uh, area is to destroy some of blacks uh, territory if blacks oh if blacks just play like this you see white destroy blacks territory and uh, this ter this area is very hard to to surround because here there is a cut also here it is very strong and very hard for black to uh, surround so of course here black will try to uh, counter attack since you did this exchange and you want me to you want you just want to come out I will do play this let your previous stone to become a bad bad shape then here of course white cannot honey because if honey black will cut you directly so white can only not be out maybe this is just an exchange to see uh, where uh, black will play and black choose to kill this stone because the territory uh, the points are very important for black and uh, this exchange for white uh, the meaning of that is uh, just to uh, make this group safe because later white may get this move then if black capture it white may come back like this and if black choose to play this side this capture after capturing this stone white got one eye also destroy lots of territory uh, black's territory so after this white choose to come out here uh, it is also very important the shape is uh, is a very important thing that uh, you may need to uh, be careful when you play games usually uh, <coughs> the amateur players may think that oh fly here looks like a very fast move and a very beautiful shape but actually this is a very very bad shape why I say that because after black jump here later black when white play here it's very hard for black to answer because you see if the shape is like this white cut you it's, it's too hard to play this is really a weird shape for black and if black play here this stone is in a very bad position so that is why black need to uh, press another more and uh, what black wish white to play is to not be again then flag can fly then this shape becomes very good and if you jump here black may surround the territory here or play other moves this shape is uh, much better than the shape before and of course for professional players they will never let uh, the opponents to realize their uh, purpose so here bl white has to honey but if white tries to honey directly black can cut white and uh, it's very hard, hard for white to play that is why 
White need to do some preparation like he did before. Yes, you may already guess the next move is to do this exchange first. And then, of course, White wants to honey here. And after black cut here, white can come out and not be here first. Oh, maybe you think that this is too aggressive, this move. Maybe we can directly make white stone inside. Mm, this is another mistake uh, usually happens uh, in uh, amateur uh, players' games. Professional players always uh, they are always very careful about their own shape and own groups. They always make their own groups uh, safe first, and then they will try to attack. Because here under this situation, there are at least two um, weakness for black. The first thing is. Even if you play here, white can come out quite easily with this exchange previously. And the second thing is white can directly cut you here. <coughs> and this shape is very hard to, to deal with because black cannot uh, uh, do a ladder directly. If you play like this, then this group will uh, become quite vulnerable after, after just after one second so of course black will save his group first and then try to attack it is just like you do you are doing a fighting you have to make your uh, fist back and then you can attack if your fist is always uh, uh, always on your opponent's face you cannot use power so this is a good move to save yourself first and then the problem the ball is going to white side white has to decide how to uh, come out then white plays this move and the next move Blacks play here. I have to say that uh, uh, this is, uh, even if Kojie is the world champion, this is a mistake. And uh, that is also uh, his problem when playing Go. Because he played very fast and I think he didn't think a lot when he played this move because this looks like an obvious uh, shape to play. Because usually here you just help white to play this and uh, make your shape very bad and if you play here at block, how could you play like this? But actually under this situation, if black think twice this is a good move because here you can push and uh, tarry and play this move to directly kill white so here maybe white cannot play here also you see that maybe another variation you saw is this but after this, you still cannot jump out. White can play like this, even if you can do a parry here. This group is surrounded. That is too huge. If you cut here, black can still play here. So, this move, even if it's in a very bad shape, but under this situation, if you calculate well, it may be a good move. And uh, the only move white can play maybe is here. And then black can uh, push again and honey 
Now white may come back and uh, black can play like this. This looks much better than just to come back like this. Uh, but we cannot say that if black play like this, black will definitely win this game because it's still a very long game. But this move under this situation is definitely better than the actual game. In the actual game, black just uh, surrounds these two stones like this, and uh, this is quite small. And now, white cut here. You see, it's much better than the bef than before. Uh, the variation I showed you that black has already moved to this line and surround more territory. But what I uh, have to say that this move is not that big. <coughs> this is maybe uh, an, uh, another mistake for white, uh, just after uh, black's mistake. Because here now this side is more important than this cut. I think white can directly save this side. Then white is in a very good position, and uh, if we count the points, white has ten here, maybe fifteen here, so it's twenty-five. And uh, what black at is just uh, this territory as this. Uh, uh, sorry, let's just uh, say it's like this. White gets 10, 20, about 30 points. Let's say here 40 points. So 50 points. Let's say black has 50 points or 50, 55, 55 points. And uh, uh, no, 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 black connect here. So black has 55 points and. Uh, what white got 25 points, and if white can save this, of course this territory has more than 25 points. And if black tries to enter here, or play like this, white can just give a, a small corner to black, and here it is definitely uh, 25 points more. And white still have the the Komi. So, if white play here uh, now, white is seen advantage. Mm, but as I say this, I find that this move just uh, after because I see the after uh, game when white play here, then black at this side. This side is quite huge. And here white jumps and black got this side. It's like white just uh, gets this move. Uh, we cannot say this is a small move. But after this exchange it's like black destroy nearly all the territory on the side. This move is a little bit slow. So after black play here, white has to play this move tries to uh, connect all his group at the same time uh, threatening black's uh, connection but after this exchange black just jump out <coughs> you see that after all those exchanges black uh, almost uh, white almost lost all the territory here and uh, also this stone is very hard to deal with because if you uh, if you try to cut the black directly black can get the corner quite easily uh, play like this or directly enter the 3-3 three three, maybe it's not good for white so white will not to play here and uh, if white tries to save the corner it just looks like also very small, so white wants to be more efficient to play this move. But I have to say this move um, is also not in a very good shape 
because of course those two exchange are the right for black. Then after this exchange, looks like this move is meaningless because black can white cannot cut black uh, here. Then it's just like this move and this move is an exchange. This exchange just help black to connect together and uh, what black sacrificed is this exchange. But this exchange actually didn't sacrifice a lot because white after white spend one move here, this area is already very strong for white. So just with those exchange black just make white strong group become a, a little bit stronger so it doesn't matter a lot. We say that we can say that with this move black may lose half move but with this move it's like white move uh, lost one move, one entire move because uh, black with this move black connected these two stones together and uh, it is worth in one move. So up to now I think black uh, made some uh, territory back after this mistake but uh, it is still a quite close game. So before instead of this move I think maybe the best move for white to play is just to play here because this side uh, is uh, the last biggest move for both sides. If you don't play afterwards white can fly inside. That is very big move. Also at the same time with this move white makes his group much more strong uh, uh, much stronger. So you say that after all this move black white has to play this side again. But you can see the, there are emotions when white plays here instead of here what I recommended. It's like it's it's because white has already lost some points here, then white doesn't want to play so calm. He wants to get some more. And of course here black shouldn't play here. If black play here it's like <coughs> white gets one more uh, territory, one more line territory. You see one line is about five points. That is uh, what black cannot accept. So of course here uh, it black has to counter attack and uh, black choose to play here. Maybe for amateur players they think it doesn't matter I can just block here and uh, you will see this is uh, like a right for for black uh, for, for white but uh, for professional players hmm, even they will uh, make a very huge fighting just for two or three points just like this honey here. White definitely doesn't want black to make uh, make another press here so he has to do some counter attack and honey here. And now here black also ha have has the similar idea you want to move one more line. That is impossible for me to accept. So I will of course attack back <coughs> like this. And uh, white not be black not be white play here. Black jump. The only uh, meaning here for black is to trying to cut white stone because you move one more line you must have some weakness here then I can cut you and black did this exchange first and then cut white like this 
So now, what has to find some solution to to connect? And of course, black will not play here because if black play here, white can come back quite easy or maybe even play here. Now this corner is not that big because after white play here, it's like white destroy all the territory and white got connected. That is what black cannot accept. What why uh, the the reason black play all those moves? The main reason is to cut white, and uh, black has to follow the original idea and uh, cut white here like this. And uh, because it is a game uh, of the to to uh, to fight for the world champion, so it's a quite long game. And uh, after this move, it's the a lunch lunch time, and uh, so after the lunch, they will play uh, <coughs> in the afternoon. And no, so now, White has a long time to think about the next move. I don't know if you find uh, has already uh, have already found uh, the Tsuji here. There is actually a call here. We see the actual game black white play here. It looks uh, a quite normal move. But actually, this move has a very long calculation. Let me show you uh, that uh, variation. Actually, there is a call here. White can play here, and uh, what black can uh, what black can only play is here, and what uh, plays here, black carry. White capture and uh, Terry Black will capture it, and uh, now this is not uh, uh, cost threat anymore. So here White only get one uh, one uh, sorry cost threat and capture back. Black will connect, and here now White can only play like this, and uh, what Black can play. Uh, only this move to cut white stone and uh, white will Atari black will capture back and white will play this uh, call and capture back and black will uh, will play this call threat first and uh, <coughs> white will capture black will capture back and uh, but can only play here, and uh, black will Atari. White can capture back, and now black can can play this move. And now black cannot uh, play here because if 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 white play here, then it becomes a double call. It's like black can kill all these stones. So what white can only uh, once what white uh, can play is only here, and uh, black can capture back, and here white gets one coast red and capture back, and black can connect. White play here, black capture back, and white can has have one more coast red and uh, capture back, and black play here after. Oh. I think after black play here, white still have one more coast rat. It must be uh, I I must be calculated wrong. Let me think. Let me think. I have to think about it. Uh there must be something wrong. Because if it is like this, white 
should play this call. Ah, oh, very interesting. Oh, black can connect here. It <laughs> black lost one uh cost threats to 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 uh capture this call. So now black can capture this call and uh, then black will have one more uh cost threat. You see that uh, play here capture and uh, what play here and capture and uh, black play here capture and the white play here capture and the black play <coughs> here huh? can black no black play here oh, white has to play here black capture and white play here capture black play here Yes. White play here, black can can play here. You see that. Then black will have one more uh one more uh cold threat. That is why uh after uh after the calculation, White didn't choose to play this call, and instead White tries to make this group alive uh, first. And uh, maybe here now Black needs to capture this stone and let White to come back like this, and uh, Black can play like this and then kill these five stones. Because this capturing at least was 20 points, it's quite big. But in the actual game, Black just choose to kill these five stones directly because there is a call here. Maybe Black will uh, is a little bit afraid of um, White to make some more call threats. Uh, maybe under this situation, Black uh, think that he uh, is good enough to just kill these five stones. But I think it, um, in the of uh, because both of them are professional players, uh, this move is a little bit slow. So after White play this and capture this stone, uh, I think White. Uh, <coughs> got some advantage back. So black choose to play here. This is a very good Tasuji and uh, this is a very big ending game move. So now if we if we uh yeah this is also the very big move. Now if we judge the uh we count the points, we can find that white may have more points here. Maybe under this situation, you will think oh, black may get all this assist. Uh, so, hmm? uh, sorry, black after this move, black will uh, play this. This side tries to threaten White's group again and uh, force White to make life inside. Uh, but uh, here White got two uh, eyes to make. Here White can make one eye and here White White can make one eye. So White can spend another mo other another move outside. Also, you see that. Uh, Oh, it looks like this move is uh, not that big. But actually, this move has some meaning. If uh, there is nothing else on the world, uh, here I think White can move out directly, move this stone out. 
maybe what can push and cut here if you play here I can play this so here it's like a sente this move but what black can do some exchange first to force white to make live and this exchange is actually meaningless why I say that uh, because you see that if later white uh, play here let's say it's like this black can get one two three four five six seven eight points here and uh, if you don't do this exchange later you may play like this and before white just gets one point so here white gets two points but white, black has one two three four five six eight nine ten ten points before was eight points so black has uh uh no 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 white may play like this uh, black gets seven points white gets uh, two points so uh okay forget about it i am not very good at uh, counting this ending game move but uh, the result is this move is meaningless but uh, also it didn't lose any uh, any territory with this exchange maybe white just want to doesn't want to make a life directly it's uh, it's like uh, an emotion and now black has to make this back then white choose to play this move which is also very big because if black get this move black got some potential here it's like uh, a place that uh, important for both sides so after white gets this move let's uh, <coughs> count the points white got 10 points here 3 points here so it's 13 and 23, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 30, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 56. And uh, let's see if black play like this. That may be what you think. Then black will lose this game because this is 56 and 66. So white got about 70 points, and what black got is only uh, this is 20, so 31, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, oh, 36. Let's say 46, 56. So, so 60. So, black only got about 60 points, and here let's say it's 10 points. So, it's quite even for for uh without the call me so black will lose the game if black play like this but one thing very important here is a very very important moment that uh, I will mm, let you think for a minute that uh, in this corner there are actually some methods Yes, the good way for black to uh, the way actual way for black to 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 play here is to play this move. 
After black play this move, white cannot play like this because if it's like this, black white stone will die. So if black play like this, white has to play like this, and uh, maybe do a tarry more and uh, no. Oh, will kill this. Uh -huh. Yes, white has to play like this, and uh, and uh, what? Do a tarry more and uh, kill this stone. Then black will move back like this. So maybe you will think that oh, with this Tasuji, black gets lots of territory back. Yes, it is, but uh, actually, uh, actually, white can get this as a sente, and with this sente, white decrease four uh, uh, four points of four black points, and uh, white got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. Uh, four, eight, nine, ten. White got ten points and decrease uh black four points. One, two, three, four, five points. Decrease white uh black's five points here and uh, get ten points. And uh, what black gets more is three points here. Let's say four points. So it's quite even for black and uh, but uh, if black play like this, you see white gets ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, uh, six, seven. So uh, compared with the, the the variation before, white it's just like white got uh, six to seven points more. So this move actually. Uh, it was about uh, six uh, minus two. It's like worth about uh, twelve to fourteen points. <coughs> it's not uh, uh, that big. That is why black played this move. This move is quite big. Because after this move, you see in the actual game, white saw this variation, so white tries to save this cut like this. This is actually a mistake. Even <coughs> maybe you will think that uh, it is a mistake because uh, it is too slow. Why black spent one useless gote here? Uh, because you didn't see this, but uh, I say this is a mistake. It's because this uh, move, mm, this black move, is not that big like what we imagined. Because if when white plays here, black can play that side later. You see, and will not lose this. Uh, this ending game move, and what black can get here is a lot of sente. You see that after all this exchange, before if if uh, black tries to play here, oh sorry, if uh, before if white just answer it like this. White can get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points, and afterwards, after those exchange, black destroy white six eight points with a sente. And another very important thing is with those exchange, this moves be uh becomes uh, very weak, and black can also get this as a sente. 
this is also a very big bull because if if white uh, got this move, white got not only eight points. Later, uh, for instance, black got a center here. Later, black can, white can enter black's territory like this. So I will say that uh, mm, if white play here, I think white is seeing advantage because. Here you see that uh, the difference is that uh, when white play here and black uh, after those exchange, black gets this side. Here white can only get uh, six to eight more points, like uh, compare with the variation before. Let's say ten points. Ten points is still less than this territory because here white can make. Eight points more, and this move was about uh, uh, ten points. <coughs> so that is why I said this move is a very big mistake. It lost uh, uh, at least eight points, and now White finds that oh, I can't move back like this. If I move back like this, it's like I lost eight points. So white wants to attack back, gets this move right now. But I would say that this is the last mistake for white because I know what white is thinking. What white thinks is. Uh, here, if I if I come back like this, you will get lots of plenty, and you will get two points. I I just got four points. Oh, sorry. If I play like this, you will get uh, two points, and I get four points. So now I I own, it's just like I got uh, four points. But if I get this move, and if you play like this, you get just eight points more, and I lost four points. So it's about twelve points, uh, thirteen points. Let's say fourteen points. It's not that big. It's just uh, like uh, a, a fifteen points goate uh, ending go game move. But this move also worth about uh, fifteen points. And this is a goate. If I can move out here, I can get more. Yes, that is. Actually, true, and also here I have to introduce to you that uh, it's very hard for black to answer. If black answer here, white can just play. Ah, sorry, white can play like this and uh, cut you. No matter uh, which cut, you will have le one less liberty for black. So. <coughs> when white play here, if you play here, it's the same. I can play here and uh, like this. If if you want to block me, if you want to block me, it's the same idea. So if you play like this, maybe you still need one more here because if you uh, play this gold here. You may have some danger, uh, danger because all those stones are not that safe. For instance, this move is like a center. You have to move back, and uh, here now I can attack your whole group. That's w that's why black choose not to answer here. It looks like after all the explanation. Black white's decision here is correct, but white ah uh, missed one move. It's the move in the actual game. I will let you think for five seconds. Okay, I'll show you. Actually, in at this corner, black will. Not uh, simply kill white five stones like this. 
Instead, the player can play like this. And uh, here you cannot connect. If you connect, black will come into the corner. Even if you can make this as a sentence, it doesn't matter. Black can kill all these five stones like this. And uh, oh, you have no territory. That is very bad. So here now, white can only uh, extend here. And uh, black can actually kill five stones like this. That is a lot. Let me count. Five, fifteen, about twenty points here. Twenty more points here. It's like three twenty points. And uh, white lost uh, four points here. You see? For, uh, not four, five, six points compared with the shape before. White lost the six points. So with this, it's like uh, before it was like we or uh, what we counted is fifteen points goatee. But here, let's say it's a goatee. It's at least it was twenty six points. And later, uh, black may after black play this move. It's still hard for white to to answer because if you connect, I may still play here to to let you kill is uh very hard. So it's worth this goatee worth about twenty six to twenty seven to uh twenty eight points. So what uh black uh white has to make twenty six points here at least to make this game uh, more balanced. Then, of course, White will try to play some move here. And uh, you see that even if you kill all this, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. How we can count it 27 points here? It's very hard. So this is uh, like the last mistake of White's move. But uh, this move is quite reasonable because after White made make this mistake, he just uh, counter accept to capture back like this. Maybe White, uh, if White is calm enough, he should have uh, come come back. And uh, maybe this is still a quite close game. But after black kill white stone like this, white has to kill something to make it uh, make make the the situation even. So after this move, white cannot cut here, so white can only move back. And uh, of course here, white cannot. Uh, uh, play some simple move like this, what to lose the game uh, very peacefully. So what has to find some unusual move to cut black. Maybe he still want to utilize the weakness here to kill this. If white can kill this, it may get 26 points back. Yes, so here now I ignore this cut and tries to play this move to attack both of these two groups. And uh, what Black play this move is very comfortable. Make this group alive first, because later Black can get this move and White uh, is very hard to uh, make this call because this Black has some call threat here. So it's like this group is alive, even if black just play here and connect, it's, it is alive. So what black think is that uh, uh, if you also, another meaning of this move is after this move, this corner becomes not alive, not alive unconditionally. It becomes a call. We will see. Uh, what the call happened. So what black means is that after I play here, if you want to save the corner, I will make this group alive and make this stone back. 
So now if you make me inside, I just make this group paralyze. If you try to kill me, I will come out and you will lose. So what whites can only play is to ignore the, the corner. And you will see that this is a, it's a cold fight actually. Of course we can't play here. This is a very famous shape to kill and it is uh, dead unconditionally. So white can only play here then oh sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh yes. And this is actually a call. You know about it? How to kill it? the same if I play here it is a call so but actually black uh, doesn't need to to play this call black just need to try to connect these two groups and if this group is li alive and this group is connected black can win this game because all this area cannot make 26 points back here Yes. After black play this move, these two stones, white has to save. Because if white doesn't save these two stones, it's not enough. Because this, uh, at first, these two stones have similar points as these two stones. And the second is that after black kill these two stones, there is a free call for black to play. That is what white cannot accept. So white have to has to connect, and this is the strongest move because white with this move, white means that I am not afraid of you to play this call because with this move I have some call threats here. It's like I want this group to be unconditionally uh, alive. And if I can still kill these two stones, and maybe I, ha I still have the chance to win. But after black gets this move, of course white cannot cut black. And white tries to play here. If black connects, white will cut, uh, tries to kill. But of course it's impossible. Because here, after this move, black uh, are connected, and white has to move back. Yes, and black, with this move, black make this group alive easily. So up to now, you see that uh, uh, on this area, white gets 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, let's say. Get 12, 12 points more, but he uh, lost 26 points. And uh, here also, oh, the shape is very bad. White has to play this move, because there is a Tari here for black. And uh, now white is disappeared. Uh, not disappeared, desperate. Desperate to push here. And it is a goatee. After black play here, it's the end of the game. Because you see, if white still tries to play this, black can connect this stone like this. If you play like this to connect, oh, it's really bad. So let's say uh, this exchange is the last mistake. White lost about, uh, uh, if it's like this, white lost about 2 points here and uh, here compared with here lost uh, about uh, 15 points so in total white lost about 20 points let's see the uh, if we can't estimate yes, black win about 23 points without uh, call me Then white cannot uh, make the back. Before maybe black 
only wins about three points, but of course those territory are not white. So before it was a quite close game. I sh I I have to say that if black if white is uh calm enough to come back after one mistake, but uh, he just can't control his emotion. He just want to uh doesn't want to admit that he made a mistake, and he want to save this mistake back and uh, make another mistake. So let's uh do a short short uh, conclusion of this game. At the start, they play uh quite normal, and uh, especially at this area, about uh, we can learn a lot from uh this move. For instance, it looks it looks like a very strange move, but actually this move is uh, very good because all those moves around this corner is based on the consideration of the direction. So I always tell you that in the opening of the of the game, direction is the most important thing. Sometimes. It is more important than just a key. Even if we can, uh, for the good direction, we can find some move not according to the just a key. If you can, uh, find some, uh, play some moves like this, it means you are very good at, uh, go. <coughs> and uh, the second thing, uh, let's. Let me think. Here, actually, Black made um, the first mistake. He didn't think a lot. If Black press here, Black can make this uh, uh, situation much better. He just uh, play uh, very fast to according to a very normal shape to play here. Then mm, White was very good. But afterwards, White didn't uh, get the chance to save this side, and White also misjudged uh, the situation and cut here. Then it becomes quite even for both. And here you see, with this move, Black doesn't want uh, White to make this exchange. Also, from this move, White has uh, has to hunt tries. All the methods to honey here. We can see from here that uh, uh, we can also learn that uh, in the professional games, both of the players doesn't want to lose even a little bit points. So we should also try to play tight. Maybe we cannot reach the level as the professional players, but we can learn their spirit to try to play very tight. We'll never let our opponent's uh, idea, uh, let our opponent's dream to come true. But uh, also this move is the same. Uh, even if it uh, miscalculates the situation, uh, it is still a good good way of thinking. We never try to let our opponent uh, <coughs> wishful thinking to to become true. So this is the second thing we can learn from this game, and the third thing. Very important thing is that uh, uh, the ending game. This game is basically a fighting of the ending game moves. The judgment in the ending game is the sometimes the most difficult part of uh, most difficult part of go, uh, especially when you want to become a very high end player. You have to you have to uh, become better and better in counting points in the ending game. I am 
also not that good of it. I should also improve um, counting the ending game moves. How many points does this move uh, wor uh, worth? Uh, so uh, I need to improve uh, as you. Mm. So this is uh, the end of this game, and uh, that uh, next time I will continue to show you the second round of these two very good players. Uh, one is uh, uh, I cannot say it's an old one, uh, but uh, compared with the child, it is like an old one. So one player is an old and very uh, old style uh, Chinese uh, top player, and the the, uh, the other is the uh, is a very talented uh, child, and uh, maybe he has a very bright future. At such a young age, he has already won the world champion. But anyway. Uh, both of these two players are at the topest level, uh, represented topest level of the of the world in golf skill. Maybe they play even better than Guli and Li Sido because uh, Guli and Li Sido they uh, they are famous. Their games are famous. Not uh, because they are the strongest in the world now. I mean now, it's because in the recent maybe past fi five years they are uh, they make made they has uh, they have already um, built their reputation. But uh, I think compared with them, these two players, uh, uh, go skill um, maybe a little bit better. I can't say it's better, but maybe they are more sophisticated. <coughs> so, ah, I speak too much uh, uh, rubbish words. So, oh, it's already one, nearly one and a half hour. So, I will see you next time and uh, hope you enjoy the game. Bye bye.